the challenge is that women are having, black women in particular, when it becomes to becoming a wife? Well, honestly, keeping it 100, there's not enough eligible black males who fit the needs of black women. Mm. By the time you dissect the demographics of finances, sexual orientation, uh, what you end up drilling down into, because black women tend to want to marry black men. Right, right. Which means that we're, and we already with millennials are seeing a trend of waiting to get married anyway. Right. There's a lot of people, men and women, who don't even want to get married anymore. Right, right. Hello everyone, it's the Sister Roland, and all I need is a few minutes to talk about that clip that you just saw of Kendra G who sat down with Rebecca Lynn Pope on the Social Society All Black show. I'm not sure if it's a show or a podcast. So Kendra G, she's a radio personality in Chicago and she has a very popular show on Instagram and Facebook. It's called Singles on Instagram and Rebecca Lynn Pope. She's an author. She's a um, millionaire life coach. And she has an upcoming show coming out also called Marry Me Now, I believe. So Kendra G asked her, you know, why is it so hard for a lot of black women to find partners? And Rebecca proceeded to say there are not a lot of eligible black men to marry those black women or to be with those black women. But are there really not enough eligible black men because many times when many uh, many of us black women get those degrees or they're making those hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars it tends to go to their heads and they tend to look down upon certain men that probably will love them and be the partner that they have never ever had but you know they won't be able to see that because they're looking for you know I'm, i understand you want to you want to marry somebody that's on your level but in reality shouldn't you have found that person if you want if you in a certain field shouldn't you have found that person when you were like in college or when you were studying that field because the more you go into age, the less of um, potential mates that you have. And especially if you, you, oh, I don't like this. Especially if you, oh, you, you have, you put all your preferences uh, before all of your standards and your morals and your values. And her response reminded me, shout out to Pastor G. Craig, who's doing a very, very good job. I mean, a lot of things I have learned, a lot of things that he has uncovered. And that reminded me of the Jaffe memo. So we have, we had, well, because he's not alive, Frederick Jaffe. He was the vice president of that, in, that very famous organization, you know, that pushes that procedure, you know, that eliminates the life of a child before it's time he wrote some um, memos though people have said you know it was amended it's incomplete and he did state that even though he wrote these things he doesn't advocate for anything that is in here neither does the organization but when you read through the memo it's a lot of things that are actually in today's society let's take a look So here is the memo that was allegedly written by Frederick Jaffe. And here we have in the corner here, it says restructure family, postpone or avoid marriage. Hmm. And it has different things here. If you go down, you know, if you read it on your own. There's a lot of stuff that's being pushed in society right now. But a lot of people think that, hey, you know, I don't want to be married now. I'm going to wait until I get my bag 
wait till I get my degrees. And then when the <laughs> so many women I've encountered, when they're done, they're wondering, Hey, where's my man? Where's my husband? Cause, um, a lot of men don't have that uh, um, problem. Really. It's us women. Because sometimes we tend to let those things get to our head. And the ones that don't let it get to their heads, they're humble enough. I mean, their expectations are outrageous. You need to come back down to reality. Because the man who is for you is not going to have everything on your list. It's not. Some people is maybe... Years down the line, maybe they'll have uh, some of the things that you have. But the man that's for you is not going to have everything that you uh, is on your list. Just like you're probably not everything that he wants. Because we always tend to look at, look at ourselves like what I want, what is good for me. But what about the person? There are many, many of these ideologies being pushed in the media now. People are saying, this is what I want, but then is this what you truly want? Or did you, uh, uh, is this what you truly always wanted? Or you heard it from something, someplace, or somebody explained it to you and it made kind of sense. So you accepted the ideology, but it really wasn't what you wanted in the first place. And many of these measures are to reduce numbers. That's what it's for. These different measures. Hey, if we don't do it, if we don't get it this way, we'll, we'll do it this way. If we don't get it this way. So there are different measures being put in place because there are people that just believe that it's too much of us and we need to be reduced. And sometimes they get us to even get along and to go with it. And it's, of course, it's um, working in, in a sense. Well, it's not that there's not enough eligible black men the black men that are eligible many of these women are not attracted to them these men will drink their dirty bath water just like tony gaskin would say but that's not what they want you know they're looking for high value this high value that not everybody, not every man is a high value. There's a certain percentage of men that are high value in the sense of, if you're talking about money, if you're talking about money, there's only a certain amount like that. And if you're talking about morals and values, a man, which I believe high value man is somebody that has morals and values because there are men that have a lot of money. They have no morals. They have no values. But if you're looking that way, there's a handful too. Sometimes we as women, because we as women, God call us as helpmates. We are a helpmate. That's why God has placed in us intuition. We have talents. We have different gifts that God has bestowed on a woman. So even if your man probably was that you want a six figure man, he probably is not making the six figure or whatever. You have the abilities to, to in not do it for him, not do it for him. But in a sense, encourage him and inspire him, push him in a sense to become that six figure man or become that man with value and character. You have that ability. You're not going to do it for him. You know, you're not going to make a way for him and stuff like that. You just got to use your God given wisdom and talents and abilities to push him to get to that. That's why you are a help bait. But also give you intuition because you bring life into this world to to weed out those ones that just come to use you those ones that just you know just come to waste your time don't don't have any ambition don't want to do nothing with their life you have that ability to detect that sometimes we don't use it because we are so desperate we need somebody we need somebody next to us because for those cold nights and then you you look overlook all those red flags that are just flashing in your face. All those expectations, all those preference, everything that you want, 
But what about what that man is looking for? Are you that woman? And you, you, you could also say that to the man. You want this kind of woman. You want this kind of, you want her to do all this, be all this. Are you that man that she's looking for? So everybody wants stuff that's going to cater to them. But love is giving the person what they're going to need and not expecting anything in return. You know, God sent his son to die for us. He didn't expect us to, to, um, to serve him or to worship him or whatever. That's why he gave us free will so we could choose against him. When we truly love people, it's not about us anymore. It's about their needs. So that's where we have lost a lot of a lot of people because everybody is just focused on their needs and not the other person's needs that they supposedly love have they holding on oh i'm not gonna settle or you just want people to settle and i'm never gonna settle and stuff like that and then years years pass by and then you keep on encountering people wasting your time and using you and then you just go settle with you just pick one and just settle with them. And then you end up picking, you know, the embodiment of the D-I-V-I-L itself. Because you didn't take the time to vet the person that you were with. Or you that you were thinking about being with. You, you know, or the desperation, you just chose them. Yeah. Eligible black men, yes, they are. You just need to change your know, the way you think and the way you see them. Some people is way years down the line, they're gonna be what you desired or what you wanted. That's how that's how some that's how it's gonna be with for some people. You know, not everybody gonna get their high value six figured six feet and uh, whatever you guys be talking about. Not everybody gonna have that, and that's why a lot of people going into you know these um, relationships, getting into certain relationships, or not getting into relationship because that's what they're waiting for. But that's not gonna necessarily come to everybody. That's not gonna necessarily come to everybody. And just because you don't have that doesn't mean your partner is not compatible with you or not eligible. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.